Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to today's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today we're taking it on the road and today I have she Sheldon Galloway and Sheldon, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeff. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself? Okay, I'm the owner of Garden Environments. We do residential landscape design and installs and our goal is to help people reconnect with themselves, with each other and with nature by creating an outdoor living space that they can enjoy with their family and get the kids maybe away from the video games a little bit. Okay, sounds good. So let's get right into it and um, let's give uh, some people advice on say how to, how to plant a tree or and actually when to plant it. Well, there's a saying that we like to say is that uh, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. <laughs> but if you didn't do it 20 years ago, the best time a tree is generally today. But sometimes people want to make it a little bit easier to take care of the tree. So ideally, the best time to plant a tree uh, would be in the winter when the leaves are off the tree. It helps the tree roots get established a little bit better. Uh, you know, you have warm days, the roots will still grow out. If it dries a little bit, they'll, dry, uh, they'll grow out. And uh, it makes it a little bit easier to get it through the hot summer if it's already gotten started during the winter. Okay, good, good. Now, um, I don't know about you, but I know if I walk through my neighborhood sometimes, I'm down the sidewalk and I'm walking into branches or trying to duck and whatnot. What does someone have to do now that they've planted a new tree to kind of prevent that from happening? Well, some people have a misconception that as a tree grows up, the top just moves up with it uh, because they don't see the process because it's slow. But uh, in reality, if a tree has a branch growing three feet off the ground, it's always three feet off the ground unless you prune it. So when a new young tree is planted, it really needs to be maintained for the first three to five years to start getting a good structure so the tree does well. So what you do, is if you look at that main trunk during the winter before the leaves come out in the spring go ahead and cut it all the way back to one stem a lot of people think that's scary and stuff like that but it doesn't need any of those branches that are down there because eventually they're going to be gone you want to encourage all that growth to go straight up so you get that one central leader that it'll just start reaching for the sky and what it'll do each year is it'll put new branches out up higher and so now you may get a few try to come back out lower, but if you go ahead and take them off as they start coming out, eventually you'll get a branch structure that's higher up in the air. And uh, the goal is to get it above your head. So if you're walking under it, you're mowing under it, you're not gonna bump your head up. Okay, so you were talking about pruning things. I mean, how should somebody prune? Are they just going to just start clipping branches off or is there a certain place they should clip them? Well, if you look at it, uh, any kind of branch off of a tree really close, there's gonna be this little bulge of tissue right where the uh, branch meets the main trunk or the a smaller branch meets the main branch, and that's called the, the, the collar. Just think about the collar around your neck. Well, what you wanna do there is you want to cut just on the outside of the collar. If you cut too far, it can't, uh, because the collar is the area that heals back over the cut, if you cut too far, that stem that you leave starts rotting and it never grows over top of it. If you cut too close, you actually damage the collar and that tissue that's supposed to heal over never can because you've damaged that, that uh, tissue right there that's made for that um, you know, healing of the wound. Hmm. Interesting, nice. So, okay, so let's say the, the viewer has their um, tree planted in the ground and they do it in the fall and it's all pruned. Um, people like to put mulch. Um, I know uh, I, I think I see a lot of mulch that's just mounded too high. I mean, is there a proper way to mulch? Uh, definitely. When you um, when you plant the mulch, uh, when you pile the mulch up around the through the tr uh, trunk of the tree, there's a couple of issues. One, you're uh, creating a lot of moisture up against that bark that is not good for the tree. And if that, that bark is the protection for the tree, it's like a shield for the outside influences. So that if you start, uh, if it stays too moist, it starts rotting and therefore the tree doesn't have the protection. Secondly, we get a lot of really fast rains and what happens is the water doesn't penetrate very far down into there on, uh, in that time period. So the roots will start migrating up through that mulch and be right on top. And then when we have a drought, those roots are right up there in a mulch that dries out really quickly and therefore those roots dry out and it stresses it out. So ideally what you wanna do is you mulch outside but as you get close to the trunk, you go down and dip a little bit and make sure that you're right there at that ground line 
an inch might be okay just to kind of you know keep the weeds down but you want to basically encourage those roots to to, to get down deep and grow out okay so is the purpose of the mulch because i always thought the purpose of the mulch was to keep out weeds but then also to help keep the the roots moist but you just said that mulch dries out very quickly if you it dries out the mulch itself dries out quickly but the the mulch helps the soil underneath stay uh, moist ah. because it doesn't evaporate and so it's kind of like insulation in your home it keeps the, the the hot or cold air on the other side it does a similar thing to the the soil and keeps the moisture levels a little bit more stable underneath and so um, it it is for, it's, it's for two or three things actually. It is for moisture levels. It's also to protect you, uh, the trunk from weed eaters, lawn mowers, stuff like that that might damage that bark that we talked about is so important to the health of the tree. By creating a mulch ring that's out there a little bit, less damage happens to the tree uh, because if you get too big a scar, the tree may never heat up, uh, heal up. And if that's low to the ground, as the tree gets bigger, it's got a weak point right there at the ground for these ice storms we've had recently to knock them over. Hmm. Okay, very interesting. I appreciate your time. And uh, if any of you out there would like to learn more information from Sheldon and learn more about his company, check out the website at the end of this video. And if you'd like to continue this conversation online, please do so, so by filling out the box below. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.